Wait, you look a little lonely, man. Like a fish out of water. Technically, you're a blue Pikmin, so you fish out of water. Yes, right. What's up? All right. Everybody, how are y'all doing? All right, before we get started with this video, you already know smash, destroy, eradicate that like button, bro. I appreciate the love, bro. 2020 has been lit so far, man. Pretty good views on a couple of my last videos, but we're hitting y'all with another banger, bro. Emily Rogers has spoken. Hi, Emily. She is an industry insider with, she has probably the most credibility, in my opinion, in the Nintendo gaming community. She's very careful with her leaks, very careful with what she says, and she's been spot on for the most part. And so, shout out to Emily Rogers. She spoke on Reset Era and... She dropped some bombs for 2020. I'm going to read what she says, and then I'm going to share my thoughts on the two games coming to a Switch near you, boy. All right, first she says, my only concern about 2020 is that Nintendo could rely too much on the relaunches of all things like a crutch to complete its calendar. Nintendo has officially announced the remastering new versions of Tokyo Mirage Session um, Sharp FE and Xenoblade Chronicles 1 for this year. I can also confirm. She's confirming. Usually when she says this, it's going to happen. Confirm that Nintendo has at least two more unannounced Wii U ports. We're going to talk about those games in a second. They are not difficult to guess because there are not many Wii U games left without being ported. Also, she says, if you don't like Animal Crossing, then uh, Animal Crossing, then the first three, four months of 2020 will not be super amazing for you personally. Nintendo is at, at obviously, I was about to say absolutely, obviously treating, I can't read this morning, obviously treating Animal Crossing as its great March title, so that is something that people will have to accept accept it and as we saw with 2019 nintendo likes to release most of its main releases in the second half of the year what usually makes the pace of the first half of the year slower in comparison bro i have to say 2019 it was a little slow the first half of the year but nintendo loaded it up the second half of the year overwatch mortal kombat Pokemon, Luigi's Mansion 3, Link's... I mean, there were so many games to play crammed into a short period. I low-key, right now where I'm at personally, and I said this before, I, I need to clear out my backlog, bro. And so there's still Switch games I need to play. I just beat Luigi's Mansion 3 a um, couple days ago. I'm going to beat Pokemon this week. This week, I'm beating Pokemon, and I'm starting... I got to beat Fire Emblem before I be, play Dragon Quest Eleven, But... It's not about me. It's about you and getting you the information you clicked on. So, let's let's break down what she says. She's saying that we're getting two more Wii U ports to sort of fill out the gap for releases. Now, she also said the first half of the year, March particularly, Nintendo's relying heavily on Animal Crossing. Of course, I'm going to pick it up, but this is a game... A relaxing game you ain't fighting no bosses you picking flowers bro you chilling bro this is a game to come home and relieve your stress so animal crossing will be dropping it should be a good game everything looks like it's gonna be a quality quality probably the best animal crossing game now let's by process of elimination 
the two games that will be ported to the Nintendo Switch. First, we already got New Super Mario U Deluxe. Dope game. I beat this game to death on my Wii U. Bro, y'all sleeping on the Wii U, bro. Wii U was dope. It had some flaws. We're going to talk about it. But Wii U, I like my Wii U, bro. Um, I beat this game to death on my Wii U. Even the Luigi DLC beat that too. I still didn't pick this up on my Switch. I am going to eventually pick it up and beat it on my Switch. Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze already ported to the Switch from the Wii U. The best platformer last generation. The Wii U PS3 360 era. This game was dope man i really really like this game i did pick it up also on my switch hasn't haven't finished it on my switch i beat it on my wii u a couple times on the wii u bro we already got ported bayonetta 2 another game eliminated bayonetta 2 already on the switch already ported captain toad's treasure tracker already ported from the wii u to and you can't blame nintendo for porting all these wii u games Every game I've listed so far, dope, fabulous, great games. And the Wii U only sold 13 million. And so it's a no-brainer for a Nintendo to say, hey, um, we need to put these games in more people's hands. And so um, dope, dope, dope games already ported to the Switch. Uh, another game that I forgot to mention, but I could do this on the fly. Bro, Mario Kart. Mario Kart is the best selling Nintendo Switch game. Think about that. <coughs> A Wii U port is the best selling Nintendo Switch game. Y'all are telling Nintendo we want them Wii U ports. And so, Mario Kart also ported. Now, games that's still coming already confirmed. Tokyo Mirage launching this month. Didn't get this on the Wii U. Probably going to pass on it for now on the Switch. And Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. I beat Xenoblade Chronicles X on my Wii U. I still got two. Didn't finish that. And this one. Man, so many games. I still haven't beaten. I got distracted a little bit with Xbox last, in the last year. But we got we to gotta beat these Switch games. Nintendo, give us achievements. All right. 10.0 update right around the corner. Nintendo, give us achievements. All right. And so, those are the games. The big Wii U games already ported onto the Switch. Now, the reason why you clicked on this video, Obi-Wan, Super Master Jedi, Super Saiyan Jedi, what are the two games coming to the Switch? I can tell you what it's not going to be. It's not going to be Kirby and the Rainbow Curse. Y'all remember this game? You're not a real Nintendo fan if you didn't suffer on the Wii U like the rest of us with Kirby Rainbow Curse. We were cursed on the Wii U with this game. The whole while while I was playing this game, I was like, man, I want a real Kirby game. But we had, the art style was dope. But, ah, uh, man, it was a chore to repeat this game. It was frustrating, bro. Bro, Nintendo was hammering that Wii U gamepad usage. Some games use the Wii U gamepad. Excellent. Splatoon. This game just made it frustrating. Where my real Nintendo fans at? That played this game, bought this game, and beat this game on the Wii U, boy. It's not coming to the Switch. The next game that we can more than likely eliminate, Wonderful 101. Another game that stuffed the Wii U gamepad down our throats. Come on, bro. The game was cool in premise, in, in concept, in thought. But once I started playing it, it wasn't 100% accurate. I was drawing the circle and he a square attack would launch. Come on, bro. I don't think it's going to be this game. The next game, Star Fox. Bro, we were, <laughs> we were going through it on the Wii U, bro. Oh, where are my real Nintendo fans at? They didn't just jump on the Switch hype train. Bro, the struggle was real on the Wii U. 
<laughs> Star Fox Zero! Oh, the game we wanted to love! I wanted to like this game so much! But again, Nintendo crammed the f usage of the Wii U gamepad down the throat. The controls in this game were horrible. Horrible! And that's what Nintendo's known for. Excellent controls. Bro, I still remember that spider battle in the snow, that big boss battle. Oh! Using the gamepad? I'm like, oh, I'm about to crash! Ah, ah, ah. It's not going to be this game. Nintendo would troll us if this is the game. It's definitely not going to be this game. <coughs> Who knows about that Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival? Oh, man. <laughs> the Wii U had some highs, but it had some lows. This was one of the lows. Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival. I remember we saw the Animal Crossing design. We're like, oh, we can an Animal Crossing game. Nope, psych. Board game. A boring board game. <laughs> oh, man. They could launch this. To get us ready for Animal Crossing. Don't do that, Nintendo. Don't do that. And so, those are the games that it's not. Bro, the struggle was real on the Wii U. If it was not for Splatoon 1, I'd have lost my Nintendo mind. Bro, I was on Splatoon, the best game last generation. I woke up on Splatoon and went to sleep. On Splatoon. I played Splatoon to death on my Wii U. <laughs> this, is, this was my, this is what kept me a Nintendo fan last generation. <laughs> Splatoon. <laughs> <laughs> it was, <laughs> all right. So, without further ado, okay, you watch it all the way to the 12 minute mark. And so you want to know, Obi Wan, spill the beans. What are the two games? By now, by process of elimination, you should know what the two games coming in 2020 for the Switch will be. One, Super Mario 3D World. Probably going to go down in history as the most underrated Mario game. This game was real good. I mean real good. Love this game from beginning to end. When you collect all of the um, collectibles, I forgot what the collectibles were in this game, stars or whatever. And you unlock the final level in this game. It's a bonus level. But the final level in this game, I beat it. It is the hardest. I played every single Mario game. This la The last level in this game is the hardest level in a Mario game ever. 2D or 3D. Where you're dashing on the things through like oh, most of the stage platforming. Crazy stuff. So this is one of the games. And... The second game that makes sense. Now, now this isn't 100%. This is what's going to happen. But in my mind, what makes sense? This game and Pikmin 3. These were arguably two of the best Wii U exclusives on the Wii U. And it's a no-brainer to have these games on the Switch. And so, Pikmin 3, dope game. Loved it from beginning to end. I beat this a couple times on my Wii U as well. Wasn't much to play. So, Super Mario 3D World, Pikmin 3, anticipate Wii U ports in 2020. All right, dudes. What do you guys think of the games coming to the Switch? Did I miss a game? Do you say Obi what? I don't know, bro. Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date, all things Nintendo. We out, bro. You're still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I gotta hook you up. That's right, we're having monthly giveaways. $60 eShop codes for your Nintendo Switch. You can choose any game of your choice. How do you enter? One, subscribe. Make sure you're subscribed to this fire. Two, make sure you're following me on Twitter, at obi one Plays, and that's it. You're in for our monthly giveaways. But that's not it. It gets even better. 
Do you want to game with your boy every day? Do you want to join our private Nintendo Switch Gaming Discord? Become a member! Three ways to join! One, through YouTube! There's a join button right below this video! It's two, through Twitch! Twitch Prime, you can do it for free, or just subscribe through Twitch. And number three, the third way to join, patreon.com backslash obi one plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. See you later. Peace.